I've lived in California my whole life. Nobody my whole life would ever even flirt with the notion of leaving California. And many, many people I speak to have left oh, yeah. and, are, and are planning on leaving. Now, they don't really want to, but I just got back from Florida and I met a bunch of ex California patriots who just left. What's going to happen is we're going to create safe spaces. And if you want to trans your kid or get a free abortion or you love illegals or whatever it is, mm. and, and you want big states telling you what to do, and if another pandemic rolls around, you'll have someone to cut down the volleyball nets at the beach. Mm. If, if that's something that's attractive to you, and it is to a lot of Californians, they like being ruled. Yes. Uh, you know, Newsom won by a landslide. If that's what's attractive to you, then you'll no longer be able to live in that environment. Then you are going to move to one of these other places. My prediction is eventually the blue cities and states are then going to need to be saved mm. by the red states who are gainfully employed because your guys' policies are so god-awful that they're not tenable. Well, political division's increasing following the mass exodus out of blue states, and it's amazing to watch this exodus. We were part of the exodus. We were unintentionally part of the exodus, but once we look back, we're like, we would have had to move anyways because of what was happening in Los Angeles and California was getting so bad. We'd already moved from the center of the city in Studio City. We had to move outside of kind of the fringes of the city because we kept seeing drug, drug addicts shooting up. There was a lot of thefts and cars that were having no consequences to them at all. There was even people who broke into the house that we had bought at one point, and LA had, was not equipped with our police force to do anything about that because the laws had changed so much, as well as the homeless crisis in our city. There was so much going on with homeless uh, that was bringing trash and even a minor plague to the streets of LA. It's been unreported by mainstream media where there's so much sickness that is in the homeless communities that's actually dangerous. Some of the stuff that we haven't seen around in a long time in America is living right there, like measles, anyone? That's disgusting. Well, these pandemics and these problems that were happening there along with the political turmoil and where California was making it hard on and is making it hard on small business owners and you're either going to be rich or poor to live there it was really a crisis not to mention immigration well I know many other states are also experiencing the same thing please go back there's a lot of people leaving a lot of states blue states and it's going to change some of the implications of the elections not because more blue states will vote red but it's actually when people move to states like florida or like texas it causes them to actually have a change in their values as well because they see things that work like a well oiled machine to protect our freedoms and they actually begin to buy into the culture of that where there's a different kind of culture that's far left wing in, in states like minnesota or in california or in florida and so when you move there you're fighting against something if you're a conservative but also you get indoctrinated by something from a school level on well let's look at these states real fast and I'm gonna weigh in on this. We have California. People are leaving New York, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Washington, Colorado, Indiana, and Michigan and Wisconsin. Then we have people arriving to. Now I knew Texas and Florida. I knew North Carolina and South Carolina, but I didn't know Georgia, Tennessee. Nevada is a big one. I know a lot of the movie industry is moving there who are conservative. Maine, Delaware. So you have to realize that some of the blue states and blue cities have people who are saying, I'm gonna go somewhere that's more of a haven for conservatives. They're moving to Delaware. Idaho, which has become a place where there's a lot of conservatives moving to, and a lot of people who are moving out of states like California or even Oregon, and part of Oregon is even trying to become part of Idaho. There's been some 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 uh, proposals on the dockets to actually separate the eastern side of Oregon because they don't feel like they identify with the rest of the state. We don't like your kind around here. And it's a actually larger portion landmass wise. Well, some people are holding the ground in these states and believing as Christians are called to be plugged in there and they're there for a reason, just like people are holding the ground in many industries that are failing right now. But we need to only do that if we've heard from God or if we've actually listened to our faith. And we do have a book called Wired to Hear, and we have a bundle right now for a limited time. And I want to give this book to you in this bundle. If you purchase the book Wired to Hear, you're going to get a Wired to Hear Masterclass, which is going to come free. So this is only $16.95. This is a huge value. I mean, the Masterclass we usually sell for at least $50. We have, uh, the book itself is $16.95. So you're getting it for free. It's going to help you to understand if you are supposed to be where you're at. You're gonna really hear God. You're gonna understand your wiring to hear God. And this is only for the month of May. So make sure to get yours right now.
California and New York used to be, and even in Chicago, used to be some of the top places to live in America. And when you go there now, the laws are against you. The laws are for criminals and for immigrants. Your school systems are totally corrupt with corrupt school boards all through the state. I'm not saying every school board. I'm so proud of the teachers and the school board members who are trying to hold the line. But the majority have bought into something. As a matter of fact, when I say that, that could sound extreme. But when you look at L.A. County, which I was a part of, the city of L.A., they've had so much embezzling of funds in the school boards that now it's known fact that there's over 20 years of embezzlement behind the school boards of L.A. County. Shocking. This is terrible. You see the same thing with the funds for roads. You see the same thing with the funds for um, small business ownership. It has become so corrupt. And so people are fleeing corruption. And there's some documentaries that have been made on different states. I like the one that was made for, I believe it was by Prager University that was about leaving California. It's called Leaving California. They're making it hard for home ownership, even in certain states like California and New York. The property taxes are going up, but also insurance companies are moving out because they don't want to cover the insurance issues in states like California where there's fire issues. And so our fire insurance was, you know, at a $3,500 rate a year. And when we, the year we were moving, we went to 16000 and the people who were buying the house from us, it was going to go up to like twenty plus thousand dollars because we were in a fire zone. Well, one third of the state's in a fire zone. So this shows you that there's people who aren't regulating and for the citizens of the state, there's a bunch of corrupt people in power and this is going to cost a lot. Well, we're seeing even in New York with the lawfare happening against Donald Trump right now where we're watching the Biden administration and some of the controlling figures in the Democrat Party who are coming against Donald Trump and have had basically like a pony show against Donald Trump in a lawsuit that just will not work. It's not going to completely do anything, but it has taken him out of running and uh, for office for the last four weeks for being in those public spaces. But he came out for one day to do an impromptu uh, rally in New Jersey, and it was on the beach of New Jersey. And it was really interesting to watch mainstream media report about this because many people in mainstream media said, well, Donald Trump said 100,000 people gathered, but I didn't see more than 15,000. President Donald J. Trump. That was extraordinary. You have to understand, New Jersey, not a place that people think Republicans would ever compete, but the size of the crowd. Could President Biden get that crowd in the heart of New York or in the most Democrat state? Could he do it in California? The answer is no. And the other thing that we're hearing coming out of the White House itself is the White House is now saying President Biden needs to campaign less, talk less, because he gets in trouble while doing it. This is President Trump showing no matter what they throw at him, he's going to fight back. He's going to lead this nation on the issues they care most about. You could take the ten- Ten worst presidents in the history of our country, add them up. The worst presidents, take them, give me the ten worst names. They haven't done the damage to our country that this total moron has done. Okay? He's a moron. When you look at the overhead picture, I don't know how many it is. It's more than 50,000. I don't know how many it is, but it's a lot more than the places where Biden's getting crickets. He's going to small little rooms that hold 20 to 35 people and doing his touring around places where there's not a crowd because there's not a crowd who wants to come see Biden and there's an added security to him because people are upset and there's a lot of protests outside of Biden's rallies and his rallies are not rallies. They're little community gatherings, little community forums that mayors get more than running for local office than a president of the, an active sitting president of the United States who's not getting that much attention. And as you know, I've come here from New York where I'm being forced to endure a Biden show trial all done by Biden. His latest rally in New Jersey drew a massive crowd. Officials estimate between 80 to 100,000 people packed onto the beach. The strategy to turn his legal woes from a liability to an asset. In fact, I heard they were gonna do a couple of other things and they said from Washington, don't do it, please don't do it. We're indicting him into the White House. He's going to be indicted into the White House. They said, don't do it. If anything, the legal cases against Donald Trump have emboldened his face. And the reality is, while he continues to host rallies like this and pull big crowds, he's setting the pace for Joe Biden to match as questions linger around the incumbent president's age and ability to serve another four years. Joe Biden is focusing his energy on private fundraisers, small controlled campaign events, and lots of FaceTime with the big unions. 
The pace of each election campaign will pick up every day, and Donald Trump is determined to show the court cases won't slow him down. Well, MSNBC just put out a new article as well, and they said new census numbers show Americans are ditching blue states for red states. This was just like a few months ago they put this out. And the U.S. Census Bureau data shows that more Americans are leaving Democrat-run states and moving to GOP states with the South being the biggest winner, and I already went over that, red states like Texas and Florida, we saw that. But the expansion of the South, the nation's most populous region, accounts for 87% of the nation's growth. In 2023, I'm one of those people. I moved to Dallas. As the region added over 1.4 million residents for a total population of 130 million, according to the Census Bureau. So we're watching people leave. Blue states are projected to lose tax revenue on a mass scale. This is a huge scale. This is actually going to be a shift in government spending in those states. And they're about to hurt really bad. 2024, then to 2024 to 2025 is really going to show. And people, one of the main reasons people are moving is because of the economy of their state. Another reason would be immigration. And another reason would be because they're afraid of another pandemic breaking out and they don't like being controlled by those government officials who mishandled the, and this is Democrats, mishandled these kinds of things. They don't want to be uh, in a, caught up in a pandemic again under a state leadership that did what they did to him before. So people are feeling violated. Whoa, no touchy. No touchy. Northeast population declined in 2023. It's down 43,000. I know California has uh, up to 17,000 people moving out a day with only 7,000 replacing them. Those numbers change all the time. So it could be different by the time you even see this. But there's so many people believing it's still called the mass exodus from one of the most amazing states in the United States previously, and now it's become the dumpster fire it is. And I love, still, California, I'll, I'll bleed for California. I believe God's gonna do amazing things in California, but we're just dealing with the political fallout of what's happened. This should inform you a lot about what's happening in America where people are leaving these places because Democrats have been given power to completely run states and they're running them to the ground and we're watching it and we need a miracle in some of these states like New York and like California where even certain mayors like you know Mayor Eric Adams in New York constantly says, you know, the, the way we're handling the police forces, we got to change it because now we have criminals on the streets and it's not safe. And the way we're handling immigrants, we're not going to give them more hotels. And there's been protests against a Democrat mayor, Mayor Eric Adams, for how he's been more conservative or middle ground. And a lot of progressive left are saying, wait, who are you? Are you Republican? And he's just being middle ground. But that's how progressive the progressive left is. And it's leading whole states and it's leading whole states in the ground. Well, I want to hear what you think in the in the comments below. Make sure to leave your comment about what state you live in and also what you hope will happen in this next election si cycle for even the states that are around America. Because I, I'm believing for a restoration of California's beauty. California is, has a called purpose on it, has more prophecies than any other state in the union, but they're going to have to come up to it. They're going to have to come up for it, for it to happen. And I just think there's many states just like that. What are you thinking? What are you believing for? I want to hear from you. Whoa. Uh, oh. Where'd you come from, little guy? No touchy.